Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Matt and Emma here. What is up guys? For today's video, we went around B&M and picked up a bunch of snacks that we thought looked interesting, some limited edition items, ones we've never seen before, and we're gonna do a bit of a taste test for you. And we've been meaning to do this video for a long time now. So we thought there were so many things in there that we've never tried before that we always walk past, so we thought we might as well make a taste test video out of it. Good spread. Absolutely. Shall we begin? Let's begin. I'm leaning towards these, you know. Okay, let's do it. Let's start strong. Yeah. So these are the new Biscoff biscuits that are filled with chocolate. We have seen these in a few places, to be yeah. fair. I went to Tesco's the other week and I took a picture and I sent it to Matt. And then later on in the day, he was like, where, where are, are, are the biscuits? I was like, oh, I didn't get them. He was like, why would you send me a picture and <laughs> not get them? I just but... I just didn't for a second in my head think that you wouldn't pick them I up. Know, no, it was, I know, no. It was restrained because I thought we would maybe do a new in Tesco video with them in it. But they've made it to the B&M video. So yeah. yeah, they were in B&M. So now is a good time to try them. These. So I'm sure you guys know that they have the regular one with like the Biscoff cream inside and they are an elite biscuit in my opinion. Adding milk chocolate can only make it better, right? I imagine so, yeah. Because Biscoff and chocolate, chocolate does go well together. Doesn't it just they look the same as the other ones, but milk chocolate inside. I'm actually scared how much I think I'm going to like these. I know, these aren't going to last long, are they? That is so good. That's a good biscuit. It's the same Biscoff biscuit mm. as you would expect, and it's just smooth milk chocolate in the middle. The milk chocolate doesn't actually, it's not like a proper punch, is nah. it? It predominantly just tastes like the same normal Lotus biscuit, mm. Biscoff biscuit, but it's like at the end you get that little chocolate hit. I've got a, I'm going to give those a solid eight and a half. Oh, I'm going to give a nine. Yeah. They're up there like, I just love Biscoff biscuits. Yeah, and they like, are good. It's just great. It's become such a prominent part of our lives. I think you has. guys understand that Biscoff has taken over. Okay. Awesome, strong start. Really good. Mm. God, it's such like a random we'll mix. We'll try these. These I'm not too sure about, but I, I had to get them because they just look so odd. Like they look yeah, questionably like wrong. In England or even in the UK, if I was to say to you that you went to a corner shop, you had like 5p, Back in the day. Back in the day, this is. What would you come out with? And it would be a Freddo. Yeah. Of course it would be a Freddo. No, and there's been outrage now. recently that they're at 20p. 20p. If you're lucky. It's inflation kids. If you're lucky. Like, never seen this before. These are strawberry Freddos. Yeah. What? Do you know what I'm a bit concerned about? Is that it's going to be almost like strawberry... Cream. Like, you know, like strawberry caramel. That kind of consistency inside. Ooh, I hope not. I'm not sure we'll about see. it. So these are milk chocolate with strawberry flavoured centres. And I think them. they're just your standard Freddos. These must have come from a different country because they do not make these. I think this these. is from Australia. A few of the Cadbury imports are from Australia. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Can you smell it as soon as you open it? They are so diddy. You get 12 in a pack. These are diddy little Freddos. Oh, I don't know. Chocolate and strawberry has never been my fave. Maybe these are Fredinos. Fredlets. Fredlets, yeah. Looks like a Freddo. Oh, look at he's laughing. It tastes like the strawberry you get in like a quality street. Yeah. I quite like it. Well, I don't like that. No, I never like the strawberry. I never like like a strawberry chocolate mix. Mm. It's because it's like, it's not like a solid. Like, it feels like a strawberry biscuit mm. flavor, like strawberry flavored biscuit or something inside. It'd be fine. It's like the weird, like, sugary, yeah. creamy strawberryness. I just can't bit. That's like a four from me. It's pretty much like strawberry icing. Yeah, it is like that, yeah. I, I, I quite like it. Like I say, I normally go for the strawberry cream in like a quality street or whatever it is. They're but like, yeah, I much like for an or ordinary Freddo Definitely. or a caramel Freddo. So I'm going to give them a six and a half because I think they've got legs. If you like strawberry, like you like those type of strawberry chocolates, then... Winner, yeah. winner. I always say that strawberry and chocolate only belong together in Neapolitan ice cream. Yeah. And it's funny you mention that, or I mention that, because... Oh, segue! <laughs> that was so smooth. Did because... you spot that, guys? <laughs> <laughs> because we got the Dairy Milk Special Edition Neapolitan chocolate, and they had so many to choose from. They had really? a picnic one. Like, honestly, I had this and the picnic one, and I was like, I'm going to get both. What's in a picnic one? It's just like the crunch inside of a picnic bar. Oh. Not like picnic picnic, no, like no, a picnic no. bar. I was like, what, like sandwiches? No, picnic bar. But I decided to get this one because it was special edition and I thought it felt a bit more like fancy. Never even seen this, like ever. Have you not? I've seen no. it on a Have few, you? Um, you know, like the New Foods UK Instagram. Oh, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. A few people sent us it to be like, this is worth a try. Ooh. 
It looks exactly as advertised, to be fair. Oh, I see. Know about that. So it's got like a chocolate layer, a strawberry layer, and then like a white chocolate layer at the top. Oh, it smells like a Neapolitan too. Yeah. It's a bit weird. Hmm. Again, it's that got that strawberry flavour, right? That only really kicks like aftertaste, the Neapolitan yeah. taste. Yeah, yeah. But it's not got vanilla. No. I think it's more like the actual flavour combination is not like my top choice. Mm -mm. I think I'd give that a six. Because the chocolate is good. It's just like, it all kind of blends into one, which I know is kind of the point, but... It ends up just tasting a bit like white chocolate. Yeah. I'm going to give it a seven. So I think it's all right, actually. Right, six and a seven. Yeah. Not bad. Shall we try one of these crisps? Yeah. So, saw these loaded fries. Two flavours here. We've got seaside salt and vinegar. And we've got chilli heat. And they chili also heat. had a cheese and bacon flavour. Oh, okay. These look like, like old-fashioned salt and vinegar sticks. Yeah, they're thinner than I thought they'd be. So you get six in a pack, and it's a pound for a pack of six. It's not bad, is it? Not bad. I wonder if it's a spicy. Oh. Mmm. Good salt and vinegar flavour. These are so good. I love this kind of textured crisp. I just love the words chilli fries together. Like when I see that on a menu at like a chicken place or anything, mm. I'm just like, oh yeah. How many of those? Because they're just simple done well. I think we should give them nine out of ten. No complaints. I'm going to give the chilli ones nine out of ten, the salt and vinegar eight. Just fair. something to chilly about. Fair, fair. I think obviously you've got to wash those down, and that seems like a good place to start. I want an only drink. When I was younger, I used to drink a lot of Vimto. Same. Vimto was probably like my top drink of choice really? when I was younger. Really? Wow. Um, and they've got a Vimto Zero now. Mm -hmm. Never seen this or tried it. They've recently brought out an advert for Vimto, haven't they? Yeah, they Over have. Over down yeah. in Devon, yeah, we're hearing yeah, it on yeah. repeat. Well, since 1908, it says on there. Ooh. It's been a long time since I had a Vimto. Wow. That's really tasty, right? It's just like childhood in a sip. Mm. I'm glad they brought out a zero. That's a good kind of drink, that is. <laughs> Isn't it? Very... Especially because it's finally a bit warmer yeah, here I in England, say, guys. That is a summer drink. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to get a bit adult about that, add some gin to it. Huh? It's starting to rain a little bit. No. It scared the life out of me. Why? I thought someone was like out the window or something. No, but as this time, I'm just going to be like... There's someone staring through our second <laughs> floor window. But anyway, like we were saying, it's summertime now, or we're into summertime, and that is a great summer Isn't drink. It? And I do think if you want to make that a bit more adulty, imagine that with a bit of gin. Ooh. Solid nine, nine and a half. I mean, a nine, nine for me. Yeah, that's good. I don't know if that's just because I've been, I've been at work all day. It's hot, and that's just like maybe refreshing. Yeah, because it's cold. Put it in the fridge, you know. Good makes stuff. all the difference, makes all the difference. Okay. Where should we go? Should we try these? Yeah, okay. Our one and only sweet kind of thing. B&M had quite a lot of Haribo as well, and I was just stood in front of it like... Where do you begin? What What do I get? But I'd never seen these before, so I thought I'd go for these. They are Haribo yellow bellies. We, I think we said this a few times, but out of Haribo, I don't actually like the ones that have like the white fluffy like thing foam, on it, yeah. the foam. Like, I like just the standard ones, and you like the white fluffy ones like the heart and the egg and that mm. but these have like a yellow belly what makes them different if you are a haribo fan go to b&m because there are really? dozens there wow. like, i didn't know the only one i recognized was tang plastics what and the rest were they just had, like, like dinosaurs ones. yeah they had like fun fun something or other like it was a whole mix of things but yeah. I, I went for this i got overwhelmed so i left fairly quickly from that section came out with the yellow bellies i wonder what makes them yellow Probably just some. Whoa! Whoa! Is it a flavour or? I don't know. So they're little mini snakes. Okay. I don't think they taste any different. They just taste like Haribo. Mm. That's what I mean. Sometimes like these packets, they all look different, but they're just the same sweets, aren't they? Mm. Can't really taste the yellow belly, but it tastes nice. I prefer that to like the hearts and the eggs and stuff because it's a different kind of different, foam. different texture. It's more like a <clears throat> Jello, Jello, yeah. jelly yellow belly. Rather than a white foamy one. I'd rate that right. the same as I'd rate any other Harry, but it's probably like, what, eight and a half or something? Eight out of ten? Like... I don't know. When you talk about Tang Facets, though, they're up a notch. So I'm going to give True. them a six and a half. I think they're all right. I may maybe give them a seven. Yeah. But, you know, most Harry, Bow, they do kind of just merge into tasting the same, don't they? So. Could you try this? Yeah. This is the first thing I picked up. Our mate Jack messaged us about these months ago, saying, like, are you guys aware that these things exist? And I was like, we are now. And we hadn't seen them anywhere except in B&M, so glad that we've gotten hold of them now. Biscoff and Go. So it's Biscoff spread and breadsticks, which just sounds great. Love Simple that. but great. Love that. I hope it's like, I hope they've not, like, tried to change the Biscoff. Do you know what I mean? 
Oh no, that looks like standard look, biscoff spread to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I've noticed though? We've recently only been getting the crunchy one and it makes a massive difference. This is smooth in there and it's still so good because it's Biscoff, but I still prefer the crunchy one. The crunchy one is so much better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It adds a different little element to it. Those are good. That's a perfect little snack that is, even if you're having it in like your lunchbox or whatever. I was going to say, that is like, you're buzzing with that. I'd get that again, 100%. 100%. I wish they did multi-packs. I'm sure they maybe do. Maybe they do. I'm going to give that a nine. Yeah. Join you at nine. Biscoff. Anything with Biscoff and breadsticks. Absolutely. Can you go wrong? Let's try this. Okay. So I wasn't sure about it, really, because Hershey's isn't our favourite kind of chocolate. Nah. But I saw it was cookies and mint, like mint chocolate ice cream, I mm. guess. Mm. So I thought it was worth a try. I quite like a mint chocolate. I don't mind it. Yeah, I do like mint yeah. chocolate. I don't think... Have we seen this one before? No, I've never seen that in my life. I've only ever tried to think Hershey's cookies and cream, and then yeah. some we've tried from America. True. It's like really green. Oh, <laughs> it smells like an it's after like eight. Artificial mint flavour, right? Right. It tastes like aero. Yeah, it does. That's nice. That's all right. I prefer that to the cookies and cream mm, one. Yeah, by far. Mm, okay. Oh, that's a nice little surprise. I was thinking that that was going to be a bit like, meh, yeah, but that just tastes like the aero mint. It does. Flavour. But like the cookies and cream, which I like about the cookies and cream is the fact that the little cookie pieces eat throughout the chocolate. Yeah. Nice and crispy. It's there in this as well. Yeah, yeah. So there's plenty there. I'm surprised that I like that yeah. as much as I do. I'm going to give that like seven and a half or something. I was going to give it an eight. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty good really chocolate. Really good. Can we try these? I'm buzzing to try yeah. these. Yeah. <clears throat> this has got me written all over it. So these are coconut lion bars, guys. I think they have been out. They're not like new, but we've never tried them before. The only downside, I guess, is these look like white chocolate. Are they? Oh, yeah, they do look kind of white chocolate. Yeah, they are white chocolate. Ooh, Ooh. oozing caramel. I wonder how coconut I thought they'd be covered in coconut, I'll be honest with you, but they're not. They're covered in white chocolate. There must be coconut in the middle, and then obviously the standard caramel. Oh, it smells coconut-y. I'm not tasting coconut. I got quite a lot of coconut. Did you? The, the aftertaste is very coconutty to me, but it's it's predominantly more just like a white chocolate bar mm. with a bit of coconut on it. I'm a little bit disappointed by those. I'll be oh, honest yeah. with you. Not coconutty I, enough. I think they're tasty, but they're not coconutty enough. I thought they'd be like covered in like dusted coconut mm. or I don't know. For me, it tastes like a white chocolate lion bar, and there's like a little bit of coconut in there. Yeah, it is predominantly white chocolate. But they're still good though mm. for what they are. But for what they're billed as, I thought they'd be different. So I would give it a six. I think I'll join you at six because I'm not the biggest fan of white chocolate anyway. And yeah. actually the coconut's so like faint at the end, like the aftertaste, it's sort of like like you don't really expect it. it. If like, I tried oh. that without knowing, I would be like, oh, it's a white chocolate type caramel. Yeah. It's not a lime, like, yeah. not coconut even. Okay, so I thought these were an interesting find. They are Yorkie biscuits or biscuit bars. They look good though. They look dark chocolate, right? I'm not sure. I thought it was just standard Yorkie. Yorkie chocolate is good chocolate, guys. So if that, I mean, that's going to be a biscuit in there. Oof. See, for me, it's all about the biscuit. Is yeah. the biscuit good? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Mm, that is good. It's like a Yorkie and a penguin. Exactly. Mm. A penguin. A young one. The biscuit's like a chocolatey, short, cakey kind of biscuit. Mm, I'm going to um, give that a nine for me. They're very so penguiny. good. Yeah. Uh, eight and a half for me. Mm. The biscuit as well, it's not as soft as a penguin. It's got a bit more crunch to it. Yeah, it's got a it, little something to it, isn't it? Which is nice, actually. So good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, guys, so we have two more things left. One sweet and one savoury. This has been out shot the whole time. So we have the limited edition New York hot dog flavour. And I do think we've seen this before, but never tried them. They had all their regular flavours, but then I thought we'd go for the limited edition one. Mm. New York hot dog flavour. Interesting, right? I'm really intrigued as to kind of what these are going to taste like. Ooh, it smells kind of like paprika. Bit meaty. Oh, that does smell a bit hot doggy. Meaty paprika. Yeah, I know. I actually get that. That's quite good because oh, most of the time, like hot dog most actually. of the time you smell them and you're like, I don't smell like what you say it is. It tastes really different to how it smells. To me, that tastes like a hot dog. Really? Yeah. To me, that just tastes like paprika. It tastes good. But you don't really eat like like Frankfurt hot dogs, right? Mm. Like proper like hot dogs out of a jar. Mm. That's exactly what it tastes like. That's really? weird. That's nuts, yeah. 
To me, that tastes like their paprika one. Do you think it's really accurate? Mm. Uh, to me, it just tastes like paprika, but still really good. I would give those a solid like eight, eight and a half, like good Pringle. And Pringles are just good, aren't they? Pringles know what they're doing. These are really good Pringles. I want to give them a nine. Oof. This has been in the shot the whole time, so you've probably already seen it, but this is Skinny Food Company Chocoholic Spread. We've never tried any of Skinny Food stuff. They we? do like uh, sauces, right? Yeah, but we, yeah. we have not... Have we tried them? I don't know, maybe. I maybe don't not. I don't know if we have. It doesn't ring a bell, I'll be honest. No. Hazelnut cocoa spreads with sweeteners and low sugars. And I thought we could try it with the breadsticks. Yeah, good shout. Because okay. Nutella do dipping ones like this as well, don't they? Yeah. They do like little dipping pots. Ooh. Smell like Nutella? It's a bit different, but still the hazel hazelnutty yeah, chocolateness. Maybe it's melted a little bit. That's all right. That is okay. It clearly it isn't Nutella, but it's not far off it. No. It tastes like any other chocolate spread. Double dipping. It's only ours. That's quite nice, to be fair. Ooh, I'm going to try that on crumpets tomorrow. Okay. Do you want to rate our favourites quickly? Yeah. Favourite things, then. I think... Um, so, I'm going to go for the Vimto. Okay. Top this top three. Vimto. Pringles. Mm-hmm. And then the Chili Crisps as well. Okay. These three. Very good. I am going to go for the chili heat loaded fries as well because those are just honestly so good. The Yorkie biscuits mm. have won my heart over. Like they are so good. That is a snack. And if I had to pick a third, it would be the first thing we tried: the biscoff yeah. or the biscuit. Mm. I mean, these two are kind of on par. Can't remember what we rated them if they were the same or not, but. Both really good and worth trying. Yeah. The only thing that I was like, nah, were the strawberry Freddos. Because I just don't like that flavour. Yeah, and I wasn't really like of anything. No, it was all pretty, pretty good. good. Okay, well, that is it for our B&M snack taste test. We hope you guys enjoyed. If you want us to do a part two or similar, yeah. just let us know. Because there are tons of stuff still in B&M to try. Like, so many different snacks there. Absolutely. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As always, please do drop a comment down below. Get involved. Let us know what you like the look of or if we've missed something. Um, and we'll make sure we maybe try that another time. Yeah, um, if you're a bit shy, hit the thumbs up button. And remember to hit the subscribe button as well, guys. Because we would love to have you on board with the channel. That's it for today. We'll be back very soon with a brand new video. Until then, wherever you are, stay safe and we will see you guys very, very soon.